it's been a while. We've been busy. The fugilator is missing. Why? Why does she go missing? Who knows? Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? Say you never ever leave from beside me. I'm back. <laughs> she goes. So we've had a request from Rahul. Thank you, Rahul. He's asked us to show how to use a bi-directional switch to change the direction of a DC motor. You'll need one of these. This is a switch, but it's bi-directional. And the way you can tell that is that it actually has three positions. It has one this way, one in the middle, and one that way. So you can technically use the middle as off, and you can use the end as forward and the other end as reverse or whatever you want. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to do forward and reverse. The previous one we did only had two positions. It still had the six pins, but they didn't do anything special. You can check out that video up here somewhere. I'm just using a DC motor. I've got a mount for it just to make life easier for me, but it's already been connected. I'm using 9 volt battery this time, and I've got a little 9 volt battery cap for it, but you don't need that. You can connect your wires directly if you really want, if you don't have one of these fellows. So on this diagram, I'm just gonna show you the connections that we're gonna make so it's clear. We're gonna make a red wire go from the top right pin to the bottom left pin. And then a black wire go from the top left pin to the bottom right pin. Hopefully you can see that. Then another black wire going out and connecting to the black of or the negative of the 9 volt battery and then the positive end of the 9 volt battery connecting to that middle one there so basically that's our off switch which means that nobody's connected and nothing's going through then when we flick the switch up so for example we flick it that way that's going to connect and the, the motor will go in one direction. Then if we connect a, the motor itself, the red wire of the motor, let's say, to that side and then the black wire of the motor to that side, then what happens is if we switch the switch that way, then it's going to go in the opposite direction. So that's how we're going to wire it up and hopefully this diagram helps you. End product. You can see the battery, the switch, the connections to the motor. And then I've added some weirdo thing to try and help us see what direction it's all going. All right, let's test it. We can see if I push the switch this way, it was going anti-clockwise. If I push it this way, it's going clockwise, I think. Right? Clockwise? Yeah. And then anti-clockwise. It is ninjaring. One direction, off, other direction. <laughs> we really appreciate all the subscribers, but can you tell your friends to <laughs> We actually need more. We, just we need more. Tell your friends to subscribe. Just tell, and, tell and your and mom even, to subscribe. Yeah. We don't care who subscribes. Life is short. <laughs>